Hi my lovelies, my name's Linz, welcome to my channel. I'm going to assume if you stumbled across this video it's because you've recently maybe been diagnosed with colon or bowel cancer. Now I'm making this video because it's something I've been through myself um, five years ago now. I was 31 when I was diagnosed, um, strange shock diagnosis wasn't expecting it at all. My symptoms weren't the average symptoms they'd maybe look for in somebody with colon cancer or bowel cancer and I, um, because of my age as well, it wasn't really an issue with some of the complaints I was originally going to the doctor with. So, um, but when I was first told that I had bowel cancer. My automatic thing was obviously severe shock. Um, didn't know how to process this at all. I was, I think I kind of went into sort of like flight mode, fight or flight mode, do they call it, where, uh, right, that's great, yep, yeah, just get it out, let's fix this, let's do this. Um, I didn't really take in, so to speak, what was what was being said to me. I, like most people um, these days, first things first, quick, get onto the search engine, have a, a look for things and bits and pieces, and that is the worst thing you can possibly do. But what I found at that time was there was no, nobody sharing their story about what they've been through at a personal level. I found plenty of videos on, on YouTube here for like medical center advice, um, proper web, um, <clears throat> I don't know, like nurses and things like that maybe speaking, but I couldn't find anything on a personal level. So I said to myself a few years back when I was kind of, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me, getting over bits and pieces that I wanted to help other people because I know how much of a big shock it was and I know how lonely it can feel. Um, there's questions as well which you don't feel like maybe you get answered when you're going to see a specialist or your oncologist. Um, I do apologise for maybe a few mistakes and stuff in this video. I am terrible with technology and this is my first time ever trying to speak to a camera and it feels very alien so um hopefully i'm getting the message across that's my main thing um lots of fans in this video as well i get to the story um i had i was diagnosed i had a bowel resection and a foot and a half of bowel was removed now i went in with the opinion i was having keyhole surgery but when they went in, things were a little bit more complicated than they expected. So they ended up having to do a bit of a bigger incision along with the keyhole. And I woke up in a bit of a terrible state, if I'm completely honest. Um, I'd never had any major operations or surgery before. Was in so much pain I couldn't understand why I was in so much pain when I woke up and in, was in ICU. It was a couple of days later when somebody finally came around to tell me that they took a few other bits and pieces and they'd done a few other bits and pieces while they were in there as well. Um, one of them being my appendix which I was absolutely delighted about to be honest. I always have this fear of my something happening to my appendix so didn't, wasn't going to miss that anyway, we don't use it, it's not important. Um, I was given a couple of weeks to heal from that while we were waiting on histology report, which <clears throat> if, you don't know what, um, if you don't know what a histology report is, it's basically where they grade the bits and pieces they've taken out. So um, I went back for that and I was graded at a stage 2T something. Um, T4, stage 2, something along the lines. But basically that was explained to me in a kind of a way that it was just on the verge of leaving 
the bowel wall and spreading onto other organs and nodes and all them kind of good things. Um, it was decided in that plan then that I would have uh, tw 12 rounds of chemotherapy. But before they could do the chemotherapy, they were going to insert um, a port in my chest for me to, to have it administered. Um, that has left a remarkable scar. And the other camera's not going to pick that up, but I don't know. You might see the wee tube I have left still somewhere down there. Um, so before I could start the chemotherapy, I had to go in to have this port fitted. Um, I plan on making separate videos for things like um, the operation, the chemotherapy, the fitting of the port. Um, unfortunately, my port had to be removed it's a lot sooner than it should have been. Um, <clears throat> out of the 12 chemotherapy sessions, I only managed 10. The side effects got quite severe. And it was decided by me and my team at the time that we would leave it there. So, <clears throat> I do apologise. So, that was the case. Um, a year, <laughs> not cancer related this one, a year after I finished my chemotherapy treatment, I ended up having... Um, a motorcycle well trike a trike is my trike was a motorcycle engine um, accident very near fatal um, I completely shattered my left femur going up into the hip and I'm now being held together with a titanium nail holding the whole femur and everything together it's fixed fairly nicely but I'm still having a few issues and I'm now waiting to go in for surgery in my spine to have a disectomy done because I have two nicely bulging discs that are crushing the spinal cord or the nerve endings coming from the spinal cord yeah so it, it's, it's been as I said we're five years on from my original diagnosis of the cancer and I'm going for a year now I'm going for a year now but somebody has to to show everyone else you know these things can be got through and we can come back out on the other side smiling and happy. So a couple more videos I'd like to do as well is um, how cancer and things like that affect your mental health and your well-being. So again I will be putting different uploads over the next couple of weeks on different things so you know if you want to stay tuned and hear me rabble on make tons of mistakes um hopefully not swear i'm going to now yeah <laughs> and try to get used to being feeling like an alien in front of a camera so again stay tuned and i really hope that wherever you are in your journey where you've already been through it, that you're doing okay. Take care guys and I shall speak to you very soon.